Hello, my name is Vandit Kachar. Today I am going to present our work Purvis Person Retrieval in Video Surveillance using Semantics Description. The main motivation behind our work is in, in the person re-identification or person search problem. The network takes an image query as input and it finds the similarity between the query image and the source surveillance frame and based on that the correct person will be retrieved which has a major limitation in practi practice as the network requires a query image. Considering the case of a lost person where we only know about the person's appearance, the above mentioned approach fails and semantic description uh, however will be useful in these cases. Based on these limitations, in our work we studied the problem of person retrieval in video surveillance with the semantics descriptions. The core aim of our work is to use the computer vision techniques to fully automate this task and retrieve the person in challenging conditions by using minimal number of semantic descriptors. Our approach Purvis is very simple and straightforward where it's divided into three stages. First, we use mass car CNN for instance segmentation, a TSI camera calibration method for height estimation and semantic descriptors to narrow down the search space for retrieving the correct person. In the figure, as we can see, Purvis uses the following sequence uh, of height, torso cloth color, torso cloth type, torso cloth pattern, leg cloth color, leg uh, cloth pattern, and the gender. The main trick to calculate exact real height is to get the head and feet point from the instant segmentation boundaries and correspondingly ex extract the torso and leg patches for effectiveness. We refer viewers to look at our work and code for more in-depth information on how these have been done. The dataset we have used is the soft bio search dataset, which is a well-known dataset for this particular person retrieval task. Uh, by using the dataset, we train the DenseNet 161 uh, model for different descriptors and the validation accuracy we achieved for the data has uh, been shown in the table. For performance matrices, matrices, we use the IOU intersection over union where the ground truth uh, box will be compared with the network's generated, generated bounding box with an effective approach and uh, th thus by we surpass the previous approaches or methods by a fair margin. The dataset has been divided into four categories such as very easy, easy, medium and hard conditions uh, such as occ uh, different occlusion or background filters. The graph shown in the image represents the average IOU for the 41 test sequences based on the above categories and we can notice that from medium to hard sequences the approach struggles to retrieve the correct person. We also showcase the localization accuracy for 41 test cases or test sequences. We encourage viewers to take a pose to guess the number of sequences that are considered to be hard or medium. We perform one of the ablation experiments by using different networks for five sequences for the different categories respectively as number as sequence number 4, 13, 21, 23 and 28 which are considered to be very easy, easy, easy and medium and hard uh, respectively. And uh, which uh, stated the results uh, that we achieved uh, for different networks have shown in the table and as we can see uh, compared to other networks DenseNet uh, variant once DenseNet 161 performs very better than the other uh, uh, other networks considering the easy and hard sequences we showcase the networks outcome for each filter in the filtering sequence if the correct person retrieved before the ending of the sequence, the approach will not follow the sequence order and provide the, that person with coordinates throughout the uh, presence in the surveillance footage. We also report the failures of our purvis where for the medium and hard categories the network struggles to find the correct person and provides the false negative at the end as uh, shown in the, image, uh, in the images. Thereby, we conclude by mentioning the major benefit uh, of our work that the selection of this filtering sequence is easily differentiable to other or more dense or small descriptors such as bag, 
cap or hair type etc and where the heavy crowd is present we notice one of the important use of instance segmentation in the this problem as it allows precise height estimation and patch extraction for torso and leg we also believe that there is a more work that needs to be done and the possible future work involves the use of pose estimation the use of tracking in this particular work and other descriptors uh, to improve the performance for more real world scenarios we thank you uh, we thank we thanks the audience for listening to our work and we also feel uh, we also let them know to feel free to visit our uh, project web page which is which is shown in the uh, slide so thank you again